Hi, this is Eli Kranzberg. I don't know about you, but when I think of Antares, the first thing that comes to mind is autotune. And when I think of autotune, the first thing that comes to mind is the autotune effect. But really, autotune and Antares do so much more than just that vocal quantizing effect that we know and love. There's a new subscription model called Antares Autotune Unlimited, where we get access to all of the plugins they have. And they have a really wide range of stimulating and creative tools that are helpful and useful at many stages throughout vocal production other than simple tuning. Now, in this video, I'm taking a simple single female lead vocal and it sounds nice. It's a perfectly fine vocal. And I want to put the plugins to work to see how I can sweeten it and produce it and add some spice and some secret sauce and give it some vibe and put their tools to work. So I hope you enjoy what I've come up with. Let's start with a little before and after, and then I'll break down what I've done. Here's the original vocal. We go higher to the sky, reaching up, but I can't fly. You said you'd follow me anywhere, but I can't see you. You don't even care. I want it more than you could give me. So that's a pretty nice, polite sounding lead vocal. Here's what I have now after using some of the Antares Autotune Unlimited plugins. We go higher to the sky, reaching up, but I can't fly. You said you'd follow me anywhere, but I can see you. You don't even care. I want it more than you could give me. Give me. Give So let's take a look at what's going on. I'm going to start with the lead vocal. And the first thing I've got is just some simple auto-tune. And I've got the artist version because I'm not doing anything too complicated. The vocal was fairly in tune. I have a modest retune speed. And I'm dialing up a fair bit of flex tune because I don't want to get any of the pitch quantizing. And I have some humanize up. There's not a lot of long notes, but it helps a little bit with some of the transitions on the long notes to keep it natural sounding. We go higher and I've set it to soprano. To to solo this one. But I can't fly. You said you'd follow. So this is just with the auto tune. But I can see you. It's the original. So it's just catching subtle tuning errors. Now after this, I have throat. I see thought this was love. Now this is great for adding this breathy kind of quality onto it. So again, I've got soprano, and I've set the different choices here. So that's obviously exaggerated. I just want a bit of it. We have level matching. But I'd rather set it manually so it blends the way I want. So that's the lead vocal. Now let's go on to the double track. What I did was I copied it down. And on here, I've got to start with, first of all, no auto-tune. So there's going to be some slight tuning discrepancies, which gives a natural doubling feel already. But I'm running the Avox Duo plugin, and I've got the original signal all the way down. Let me just mute what's after it. We go higher so dialing up a fair bit of variation here. 
with the original. But I can fly. It's such a follow. And I've panned this center here. We're pretty close to the center. But I can see you. You But after this, I'm running throat again. I want it more than you could give me. To get this breathy kind of quality on the double. Again, with the different parameters set the way I want. I started with a preset, but I edited it. It's a little breathier than I would normally use, but because it's a double and blended in, it works. You hear both of these without the Avox throat. So that airy high end is emphasized and it gives it that breathy high quality, kind of like a Billie Eilish kind of vibe, which I like. And with that mix knob, I can dial in just the amount that I want. Now, after that, what I did was I grabbed a couple of phrases and copied them down to a new track. For example, over here, I'll just cycle some of this. I took Gimme and I just dragged it down to a new track and I used a fantastic tool called Harmony Engine. Now, what it does is it creates chords, basically. I chose a preset to start with called Cool Chords, number five. One, two, three, and four are plenty cool also. But I like this one, and I chose the root and chord quality that I wanted, and they're panned by default, and it all sounds nice. But the thing here that really influences the way this works is the spread and register. So if I solo this... Give me, give me. Give me. So it works nicely, just lengthen that a bit, but we can change the range. And the spread. Give me, give me, give me, give me. So really nice. And then I grabbed a bunch like that, and I'll just play some of them. So I took Gimme Gimme and then some more over here. Now we can automate changes here to the Harmony Engine, of course, but I left it as I liked it. It's working with that one tonality, harmonizing these lyrics in these spaces. Now, for this little tag at the end, what I did was I copied this vocal down onto another track where I have another instance of the Harmony engine, and I'm using different ranges, and I'm using a different chord. I have this harmonized to F-sharp minor 7, and that, combined with that D major 7, gives a nice, dense kind of chordal quality that works in an interesting way. <laughs> So it's in a higher range and the density of the additional notes. And I have a third instance here of Harmony Engine. And here I have the D major again in a different range here. And I have this part in the middle here. So three different instances all working together. And these are all bussed out to a vocal bus. And on the vocal bus, I've got the Avox Warm plugin, which gives a nice bit of tube warmth. Let me just back it up to the beginning and I'll solo the bus for you. Too much, I find, can it's easy to overcook it, but with a little bit of it, it really adds a lot, especially if you attenuate the output. We go higher to the sky, reaching up, but I can't fly. So I like a little bit it's of it. Such a follow me and then I'm following that with punch. I can see you. You don't even so just give a little bit of a sharp attack to those consonants at the beginning of the words. So it really makes it more, well, for lack of a better word, punchier, but it grabs the transients and emphasizes them. It's kind of like a vocal transient enhancer. So altogether, I think it's really helped take this okay single lead vocal and turn it into a real polished vocal production. So hopefully this has given you some ideas on how you can use the Antares Auto-Tune Unlimited bundle in your productions.